to my channel mga kabarikan Okay, at may bago tayong topic na i-discuss ngayon Yun ay time rate or time rates So basic definition Time rates is the rate at which a quantity or function changes with respect to time Kaya nga, time rate Okay, so para mas ma-figure out po ninyo I have here my cylindrical tumbler And I have here a water So, sabi dyan, para daw ito sa mga quantity or function na nagbabago with respect to time. Kasi di ba may mga bagay namang nagbabago sa pagdaan ng panahon at ng oras? Okay? So, for example, itong tumbler ko, di ba may specific height siya? Magbubuhos ako ng tubig. So, kung nakita nyo, tumaas yung tubig. Okay, kung constant yung pagbuhos ko, aalamin natin kung gano kabilis yung pagtaas ng tubig. Yun ay masasolve mo gamit ang time rates. Sagot lang ha. So, ganun po ang idea ng time rates. Ang mga possible na quantity na, ku na kuhain natin sa time rates ay changing volume with respect to time pwede din change in area with respect to time or change in height with respect to time change in area kasi di ba may mga bagay din namang lumalapad tsaka dumiliit due to time change in height may mga object na biglang humahaba height or length biglang humahaba or umiikli due to time So, yun yung mga may encounter natin guys kapag nagsosolve tayo ng problems regarding time rates. So, here are the few steps on how are we going to solve a time rate. So, the first step is to draw the figure if necessary para mas madali mong ma-figure out kung paano yung sosolvin mo. After drawing a figure, set up an equation. Okay, kapag meron ka ng equation, step 2 is to differentiate it with respect to time. Kaya kung nakikita nyo, dv dt, da dt, dh dt. Change in volume with respect to time. Change in area with respect to time. Change in height or length with respect to time. And lastly, step number three is to compute for the required time rate. So, here is the three simple steps on how are you uh, on how are we going to solve a time rate problem so do not forget these steps okay so copy let us solve the first problem water is flowing into a right cylindrical tank of radius 5 feet at a rate of 20 cubic feet per minute Find how fast A is the surface rising and B wetted surface changing. Water is flowing into a right cylindrical tank of, rate of radius 5 feet at the rate of 20 cubic feet per minute. Find how fast is the surface rising and wetted surface changing. So again, I have here my may cylindrical tank or may tumbler and ibubuhos ko yung tubig ng 20 cubic feet per minute. So, as you observe, tumaas po yung level ng tubig. Okay, yun yung unang pinapahanap sa atin. Ang unang pinapahanap sa atin is yung surface rising or yung pagtaas ng tubig. Wait lang. And then, yung pinapahanap na B, wetted surface changing. Kasi ba diba, kung kanina hanggang dito lang yung level ng tubig, ngayon tumaas na dito. At yung surface na nabasa ay 
mas lumalaki din. So, yun yung wetted surface changing na sinasabi sa problem. Okay? So, drawing muna tayo. Sabi sa problem, ang radius daw natin ay 5 feet. Tapos, binigyan din tayo kung gano'ng kalaki yung pagpasok ng tubig natin. Okay? Kung titingnan mo, 20 cubic feet per minute. Cubic feet is unit of volume. So, alam ko agad that this is dv over dt or change in volume with respect to time. So, ganong kalaking tubig or ganong kadaming tubig ang pumapasok sa ating cylindrical tank. So, sabihin natin, na-reach natin to. Okay? Nung naglagay tayo ng tubig. ba diba volume is equal to pi r squared h. Kapag po tayo ay merong cylinder. Okay? Alin ba yung constant dito at hindi nagbabago? Volume ba? Siyempre hindi kasi nagdadagdag ka ng tubig. So, mas tumadami din yung volume mo. So, hindi to constant. Yung pi, constant po yan. Yung radius mo, constant ba yun? Yes po. Hindi naman kasi sinabi nung, na nung naglagay ka ng tubig ay dumulobo din yung cylindrical tank mo. So, constant din po yan. And then, ang height, syempre, hindi yan constant kasi habang nagdadagdag ka ng tubig, mas tumataas yung level. So, hindi din to constant. So, basically, ang magkakaroon dyan ng change ay ang volume mo at ang iyong height ng tubig or level. So, we have to differentiate this. So, V is equals to pi r squared h. We have to differentiate this with respect to time. Okay? So, ang derivative ng volume with respect to time is dv over dt. Then, constant lang naman ang pi r squared. So, wala tayong problema. Anong derivative ng h with respect to time? 1. And then, dh, dh, dt. So, parang nag-differentiate tayo implicitly. Okay? So, dv, binigay sa atin is 20 cubic feet per minute. Pi, r is 5, times 1, hindi ko na ilagay, times dh over dt. Okay? So, 20 is equal to pi, times 25 dh dt. So, dh dt is equal to 20 over pi 25 or simply pag ni lowest term po to, this is equal to 4 over 5 5. Okay? So, anong unit nito? Ang unit po nito ay feet per minute. Okay? So, copy. Okay? Yung sunod na tanong sa atin, guys, is wetted surface changing. So, kung titignan mo, yun lang po yung area na ito. Tsaka yung nasa ibabaw. So, that is your surface area. Your surface area is equal to 2 pi rh plus 2 pi r squared. Okay? Kasi meron kang area dito sa baba at area ng tubig sa taas. Kaya, pi r squared times 2, baba, tsaka taas. Okay? And then, meron na tayong equation. Let us differentiate this with respect to time. So, this is equal to the derivative or change in surface area with respect to time. 2 pi r h, so, constant lang ang 2 pi r. 
derivative ng h is 1 times dh dt. And then, itong buong quantity ito, yan lang naman po ay, ano, constant, magzi-zero lang yan kapag dinifferentiate natin. So, derivative of surface area over derivative with respect to time, uh, over, uh, derivative of surface area with respect to time is equal to 2 pi times r which is 5 times dh over dt na nahanap natin kanina na 4 over 5 pi so this is equal to eight feet squared per minute. Okay? So, this is the, ano, wetted surface changing coat natin. Okay? Some reference will tell you na hindi naman surface area yung kailangan. Ang kailangan daw ay yung lateral area. Pag lateral area po kasi, wala po ito. Ito lang yung formula. Pero still, you're gonna get the same answer. Okay, so please copy.